There were mixed emotions in today's meeting. Some parents were angry and said that the school should have tested the entire school from the beginning. Others were calm and simply wanted the information about when tests would begin and wanted to know more about the disease. At this point, officials say there are still no cases of active TB. 37 of the approximately 200 people that were originally tested after the tuberculosis outbreak at Fannin Middle School tested positive for TB exposure. That announcement was made today at a meeting held at the middle school where some parents expressed outrage and others seem content with the information the school is providing. Well, honestly, I feel like they have it pretty much under control. I mean, they're doing what, whatever, the best that they can do. Um, it was more informative than last meeting, but I am still very ticked off. Pro News 7 talked to one parent whose daughter tested positive for tuberculosis yesterday. Although she has not yet had x-rays done on her daughter, the mother says she is calm and believes that the school is handling it as well as possible. Well, my daughter actually tested positive today and we are very worried, but we're not going to get too excited until it's time to get excited. She is having a chest x-ray tomorrow and seeing a doctor. And it is not the school's fault that this has happened. They're taking care of it appropriately. We just want to make sure that she's taken care of. According to officials, in the original round of testing done only of those who had prolonged exposure around the girl diagnosed with active tuberculosis, a few cases came back so positive for TB exposure, were but there were no active cases of tuberculosis. However, after a second round of testing, an unexpected amount of people tested positive for exposure, causing the health department to decide to expand their testing to all faculty, staff, and students. Symptoms of active tuberculosis are chronic cough, cough with blood spatter, fevers, night sweats, and weight loss. At this point, even with today's series of x-rays performed on those who tested positive for TB exposure yesterday, there are still no reported active cases of TB. Those who were tested positive for the bacteria have been prescribed a nine-month preventative treatment that takes the chances of the TB within their system becoming active down to 1%. All of the testing and further medical evaluations are being done free of charge for the families. Officials say they want to test everyone while, still, while school is still in session to ensure that any exposure is latent, taken care of, and there continues to be no cases of active TB.